Jejumar Bine Karat A, born November 11, 1942 Karat B, served as the 13th Vice President of the Philippines, serving under President Benigno Aquino III. He was a presidential candidate in the 2016 Philippine presidential election. He was appointed by former President Corazon Aquino as officer in charge of Makati from 1986–1987. After his assignment, he was elected as Makati City Mayor from 1988 to 1998. During this term, he acted as the Metropolitan Manila Development Authority MMDA chairman from 1990 to 1991. In 2001, he was re-elected as mayor until the end of his term in 2010. He resigned as chairman of the Housing and Urban Development Coordinating Council and as presidential advisor on overseas Filipino workers on June 22, 2015. Early life Jejumar Binay was born in Paco, Manila. The name, Jejumar, is a portmanteau of Jesus, Joseph, and Mary. He is the younger of two children of Diego. Jago Medrano Binay, a librarian from Baon, Batangas, a school teacher from Cavagan, Isabella. He had an older sibling who died before he was born making him the only one who survived childhood. After being orphaned at the age of nine, he was adopted by his uncle, Ponciano Bine. He helped the poor and needy during his early teens. Being the kuya of his family, he helped them study and get jobs. Education Bine finished basic education at the Philippine Normal College Training Department and graduated from the University of the Philippines Preparatory School. He went to the University of the Philippines Diliman for college and graduated in 1962 with a degree in political science. He continued on to the UP College of Law and graduated in 1967 then passed the bar examinations in 1968. He got a master's degree from the University of Santo Tomas in 1980 and a master degree in National Security Administration from the National Defense College of the Philippines. He took up strategic economic program in the Center for Research and Communication. He enrolled in a non-resident and general staff course at the Command and General Staff College, AFP and joined the Seniors Executive Fellow Program at the John F. Kennedy School of Government in Harvard University. He was awarded a doctorate in public administration honoris causa from the Polytechnic University of the Philippines, and Doctor of Humanities honoris causa from the Laguna State Polytechnic University. In 1993, he received a diploma in land use program from the University of the Philippines. In 1996, he finished the top management program at the Asian Institute of Management in Bali, Indonesia. He also took up the Joint Services and Command Staff course in the AFP. He also has a master's degree in management at the Philippine Christian University and a diploma in environmental and natural resources management from the University of the Philippines Open University. Legal career Upon passing the bar examination to be a lawyer, Binet took up human rights law. During the martial law period, he represented political prisoners in the 1970s for no charge. After some time, he himself was detained. It was also during the Marcos regime that Binet and other human rights lawyers created the movement of attorneys for brotherhood, integrity, and nationalism, Mabina. Political career Makati Mayor First and third term On February 27, 1986, Binay became one of President Corazon Aquino's first appointed local officials after Mayor Nemesio I. Yabat died while in office during the EDSA revolution. He was elected in his own right on January 18, 1988 and was re-elected on May 11, 1992 and on May 8, 1995. He joined pro-democracy forces in preventing the mutinies against the Aquino administration from being successful. His active role in the defense of the constitution earned him the nickname, Rambo Tito or Little Rambo, after the screen hero, the Outstanding Achievement Medal and a special commendation from Aquino. Fourth and sixth term 
On May 14, 2001, Binay reclaimed his post as mayor of Makati, winning over actor, TV host, and then vice mayor Adu Manzano in a landslide victory and became a critic of President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo. He won his fifth term on May 10, 2004 by a large margin against 1st District Councilor Oscar Ibe. He ran for his sixth and last term as mayor May 14, 2007 and won again by a significant margin beating incumbent senator and actor Lito Lapid. His margin over Lapid has been considered as the largest margin in a local election in Makati City. In October 2006, the Department of the Interior and Local Government issued a suspension order against then Makati Mayor Jejamar Binay, Vice Mayor Ernesto Mercado, and all members of the City Council following an accusation of ghost employees on the city payroll by former Vice Mayor Roberto Brillante, a political rival. Refusing to cooperate with the suspension order, he barricaded himself inside the Makati City Hall. Among those who expressed support were former President Corazon Aquino, actress Susan Rosas, the widow of the late movie star and 2004 opposition presidential candidate Fernando Poe Jr. and several Catholic bishops. After a three-day standoff, the Court of Appeals issued a temporary restraining order. Before it lapsed, the court issued an injunction order, thereby preventing the office of the president from enforcing its suspension order until the case was resolved. Binay, together with his wife, Elenita, and nine others, was vindicated by the courts in a graft case filed by the Office of the Ombudsman over allegations of overpricing in the purchase of office furniture. Allegedly, he had irregular purchases worth 232 million pesos from the years 1991 to 2006. The case was also filed by Brillante, who at that time was leading in Makati Palace supported signature campaign to amend the constitution. The Sandiganbayan 3rd Division dismissed the graft case filed against him and his six co-accused for lack of factual basis even prior to Binay's arraignment. Critics claim the suspension order was intended to distract attention from the government. S. Own scandals. On May 2, 2007, the Bureau of Internal Revenue Beer, froze all the bank accounts of the city government of Makati and the personal accounts of then Mayor Binay and then Vice Mayor Mercado. The Beer issued the order after it said the city still owed the Beer 1.1 billion pesos in withholding taxes of city employees from 1999 to 2002. Beer Revenue Officer Roberto Bacuarin signed and issued the warrant of garnishment against the bank accounts that belonged to Binay, Mercado, the city government and the city's treasurer and accountant. The city government protested the garnishment order, saying the city had already paid 200 million pesos to the Beer as part of a settlement agreement agreed to by Finance Secretary Margarito Teves and former Beer Chief José Buñig. The city also said the order was flawed, since Bakuran had no authority to issue writs of garnishment and freezing the personal accounts of Binay and Mercado were also unlawful. Ordered by the Court of Tax Appeals, CTA, Binay was made to pay the deficiency in taxes amounting to more than 1.1 billion pesos to the beer, in December 2009. The garnishment orders were eventually lifted by Malacañang Palace, but not until after Binay slammed the move as politically motivated and patently illegal. Binay's camp claimed and accused former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo of political harassment. Because of this, as per the Department of Interior and Local Government, DILG, a suspension order was served against Binay over alleged corruption. The latter said that the tax obligations were already settled between the Beer and the Makati city government. And again, barely a week before the local elections, the ombudsman suspended him based on allegations made by a local candidate allied with Malacañan. It would be revealed that the charges were supported by falsified statements. In a repeat of the October 2006 incident, heavily armed policemen barged into the city hall after office hours, forcibly opening the offices and occupying the building. He confronted police officials and representatives of the Department of Interior and local government, while hundreds of supporters once again swarmed the city hall quadrangle to show their support. The suspension order generated national media attention, and prompted even administration senatorial candidates to protest publicly, saying the action further undermined their chances in the elections. Despite the controversy of this tax liability issue, Binay still won the position of vice president in 2010 by a landslide Victoria photo of then vice presidential candidate and former Makati city mayor Binay, with his rumored mistress, was leaked online.
Though he admitted to having an extramarital affair, he said that the leaked photo was part of black propaganda against him, because of his high ratings in the vice presidential survey conducted prior to the leaking of the photo. The alleged black propaganda device had little to no effect on the campaign of Binet, who closed the gap of votes between him and leading vice presidential candidate Senator Manuel Mar. Roxas II in a formerly conducted survey. Despite the issue, Binet's landslide victory landed him the position of vice president. Vice Presidency Binet initially announced his bid for the presidency for the 2010 elections during his 66th birthday celebration at the Makati City Hall on November 11, 2008 but abandoned his bid in order to give way to the re-election bid of former President Estrada. He eventually became Estrada's running mate and ran under the banner of PDP Laban Partido Democrático Pilipino Lacas ng Bayan. He initially showed a relatively poor performance in the public opinion polls, trailing behind Senators Lauren Lagarda and Mar Roxas, who was heavily favored to win the race, but his standings improved as the elections approached, overtaking Lagarda and tying with Roxas in the final survey conducted. He went on to narrowly defeat Roxas in the election by 700,000 votes. Roxas filed an election protest before the Presidential Electoral Tribunal of the Supreme Court, which is still currently pending. Binet took his oath as vice president on June 30, 2010, becoming the first local government official to do so. He was appointed as chairman of the Housing Urban Development Coordinating Council by President Noinoy Aquino, the same position held by his predecessor, Vice President Noli de Castro and presidential advisor for OFW concerns. He also heads the task force OFW which helps overseas Filipino workers who were maltreated by their employers to return to the Philippines with the assistance of the government. There are numerous corruption allegations against Binet dating from 2014 to the present time. Investigations regarding all these allegations of corruption are being conducted by the Department of Justice (DOJ), the Philippine Senate, and the Office of the Ombudsman. Binet is currently facing accusations by former Vice President of the Boy Scouts of the Philippines BSP, Ernesto Mercado, of accepting and misappropriating money received from a deal between the BSP and Alphaland Corporation back in 2008. Initially accused of receiving 200 million pesos in kickback from the deal and using it to fund his 2010 campaign for vice president, Mercado has amended his statement to reflect the possibility that if Binet has sold the shares he received, he could have made anywhere between 233 million pesos and 651 million pesos. Mercado has also stated that although the Boy Scouts of the Philippines were supposed to have received 600 million pesos for their end of the deal, the organization has yet to be compensated. This is seconded by the current vice president of the BSP, Atty. Wendell Avisado who further added that he believes that they will only be paid when construction of the podium in Alphaland Makati Tower is completed. Avisado adds, however, that Alphaland has been consistently paying the BSP 530,000 pesos monthly for the use of a BSP podium that is currently being used by Alphaland as a showroom, Sen. Trillanes believes that if Binet becomes president, he will release former President Gloria Macapagal Arroyo and the three senators allegedly involved in the pork barrel scam, Bong Revilla, Jingoy Estrada and Juan Ponce Enrile from detention. The subcommittee concluded the hearings on January 25, 2016. Currently, Binet's camp is denying these allegations. Presidential bid Initially he polled highly among expected presidential candidates for the Philippine general election, 2016. However, in the September 2015 Pulse Asia he placed third after Senator Grace Poe and Mar Roxas, the ruling Liberal Party presidential candidate. His trust rating had also dropped 18%. Speculation as to who his running mate will become 2016 have seen fingers pointed in many directions, including the likes of PLDT Chairman Manuel V. Pangilinan, Senator Jingoy Estrada, Rep. Manny Pacquiao, Nationalista Party President Manny Villar, and Batangas Governor Vilma Santos. But later revealed to be Gringo Hanazan. Platform 
Vice President Binay disclosed his platform for his 2016 presidential bid during his speech in the Integrated Bar of the Philippines in Cebu City on March 20, 2015. He aims to improve the situation in the state colleges and universities, public health hospitals and clinics, police stations, and mass housing. An increase in both salaries and benefits of public school teachers and health workers, members of the police force, and other public servants was also promised. In his plans include a redesigning and re-engineering of the transportation system of the country, as well as prioritizing the building of more infrastructures and the creation of more jobs. He proposes to change the constitution to boost the economy, and speed up the country's development. In early July of the same year, Binet expressed Una S. His party list platform for 2016 in a speech, Ang Saga ng Una at ng Tambayan Sawa na Teo sa Kaharapan, Sawa na Teo sa Kawalan ng Hanapuhe, Sawa na Teo sa Kriminalidad at Illegal na Droga. Sawa na Teo sa Kakulangan ng Basic Services. Harap na Teo sa Manhide at Palpak na Pamahalan, what Una and the citizens are expressing is that we Retired of poverty, we. Retired of unemployment, we. Retired of criminals and illegal drugs, we. Retired of the lack of basic services. Less than pre greater than slash pre greater than dot 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 we. Restruggling under a numb and failed government. Personal life. He is married to Dr. Elenita Sambilo Bine, who also served as mayor of Makati from 1998 to 2001. They have five children Maria Lourdes Nancy, Nancy, born May 12, 1973, married to Jose Benjamin Angeles, with four children Marlene Abigail, Abby, born December 12, 1975, married to Luis Campos, with one child, Martina. Jejamar Irwin Jr., Jun Jun, born July 12, 1977, married to Kennelly Ann Lacia, with four children, Jejomarie Alexi, Maria Isabel, Jejomar III, and Maria Kennelly. Marita Angeline, Stike. Joanna Marie Blanca, Liango. In addition to his five children, Binet is also the grandfather to 13 grandchildren. Recognition 1992 Outstanding Award, Metro Manila Development Authority MMDA. Award on the Luzon Campaign Medal 2002 Special Presidential Award for Service Leadership Award, Presidential Citation 2003 Most Outstanding City Mayor of Makati and Consumers Advocate Award 2004 University of the Philippines Oblation Run Award Best in Sports Wear 2005 Centennial Medal of Honor Outstanding Public Official and Great Achiever 2006 World Mayor Award granted by London-based City Mayors 2018 Bronze Wolf, the only distinction of the World Organization of the Scout Movement, awarded by the World Scout Committee for exceptional services to world scouting. Notes Note 1, his birth name was supposed to be Jesus José María Cabawadan Bine, but María was not added in his birth certificate. Note 2, according to his birth certificate, he was born on November 10, 1942. However, according to other official documents, he was born on November 11, 1942, which is the date he personally prefers. References External links Office of the Vice President of the Philippines Jejomar Binay on Twitter